but the idea that the Jews deserve a rescue place was the most moral idea that I could have thought at those days. You know what that rescue place should have been? It should have been the United States of America. The United States of America. We exterminated the indigenous population of this country. And that stain cannot be wiped away. That original sin cannot be fixed. The twin original sins of slavery and the extermination of the indigenous population cannot be erased. They cannot be forgiven. They cannot be forgotten. They are who we are. But there is one thing that we can say as Americans to begin a step toward redemption is to say, none of us have title deed to this place, but we come together and we live together and we leave aside our nationalisms and our bigotries and we we treat all human beings as equals and we will be the refuge of the world. That's what America in its highest and best form could be. But it isn't that place because those that exploited the indigenous and the black people, the slaveholders, the overseers, the exploiters still hold sway, still hold power here. The solution to anti-Semitism is not anti-Arabism. It's not settler colonialism. It isn't to humiliate and destroy and exterminate another group of people. It is to accept a true pluralism.